What's up everyone, Kinetic here and welcome to another Guild Wars 2 Profession Build Spotlight video. Today we're looking at a very unique style of thief gameplay in structured PvP. This is not a burst style of gameplay here. This is more of a condition damage where you use Death Blossom to inflict bleeds on your opponents causing a lot of damage over time to single targets and also to groups of enemies. I see a lot of burst thieves out there with their heart seekers and stuff like that, which is good. It's all fine and stuff like that, but uh, bleed damage can be very, very powerful. As you see, there's another thief up here. I'm just going to death blossom over him a couple of times, and you can see those bleeds are ticking away at 112 each, and before long, he goes down very quickly. Pretty good against single targets, but where this really shines is in team fights. If you have a group of enemies that are collected together, take advantage of Death Blossom's amazing range. As you can see in this one Death Blossom, I, I hit all three of them, and you can see the bleeds are ticking away. 112, 112, 112. Those guys are going to be going down fast. Next up in another big part of the build is Infiltrator's Arrow. It allows the thief to sort of shadow step or teleport, however you want to put it, to the arrow's location once it lands. And when it does land, any enemies nearby, they will be blinded for a short amount of time. But the real reason to bring the short bow and to use Infiltrator's Arrow in structured PvP is to capture points as quickly as possible, to move around the map very, very quickly and neutralize your enemies capture points take capture points for your team as demonstrated here we just finished taking on Svanir and I'm going to use Infiltrator's Arrow to quickly get me across to the other side of the map. This match just began, and by the time I get there, it should be that the enemy team will have just left the area, probably moving on to either our side, the mine, or over to the keep. Either way, it should be empty, and sure enough, as it's shown here in this clip, it is. And I get here way before my teammates come over to assist in capturing this henge point. A few of them are over at the keep right now. We've captured the keep. A couple others are on their way over to the henge and I get here well ahead of them. As you can see, I've pretty much capped the point by myself by the time they arrive. You've seized the henge. This is also great for evasion. If you're taking heavy fire from your enemies, use Infiltrator's Arrow to quickly escape out of dangerous situations. You're not going to be able to survive a lot of damage as a thief, and you need as much survivability tricks as possible. Infiltrator's Arrow makes you very hard to catch, very hard to kill. So now that we know the basics of this build, let's take a look at a full replay here in Structured PvP. Now as usual, the game begins and we go to our conquest section, which is the Windmill. So I'm quickly using Infiltrator's Arrow to get me to that location. You gotta keep in mind though, every time you use Infiltrator's Arrow, it uses your initiative, which is also what you use for your attacks. So try not to drain yourself completely. Give, give it a couple of seconds in between shots, that way you're not using up all your initiative. I was a little bit disappointed in this shot. I was hoping that it was going to teleport me there, but alas, it did not. As you can see, I'm moving so quickly across the map that it is just in time that the, uh, the enemy team has left the mansion area. And I'm able to sneak by them and move my way over to begin capturing their point on their side of the map. Now, I was hoping to be able to have some peace and quiet over here, let them go off and try to capture other points, but uh, one of my teammates managed to 
drag the fight back over here to the mansion, which I suppose is uh, beneficial in its own way. If they're over here, then that means they're not uh, in other areas trying to capture the other conquest points. Got a couple of enemies here. I'm going to start doing some bleed damage to them using Death Blossom. But then some reinforcements arrive, including what looks like possibly a burst damage thief. So I'm going to heal, which gives me a vanish, escape out of this situation, and get away without getting overwhelmed by the enemies. Looks like I ran over some cult traps though from that uh, that thief which causes cripple for a short amount of time. But Infiltrator's Arrow still helps me to escape any uh, any really dangerous situations, even with cripple. It looks like they're really committed to capturing the mansion, so me and this other guy on my team, we're going to try and recapture the clock tower. We're not the only ones that thought about this either. Looks like we've got pretty much everybody on our team for the most part is also here at the clock tower and we're going to be able to capture this very, very quickly. I have a feeling that after the mansion, the enemy is probably going to be coming back to this location and it seems like as soon as we capture the point, everybody just like hauled ass. And now I see that there's enemies here and I'm going to feint a retreat and then I see that it's just this thief and I'm going to initiate combat before her and start getting some bleed action. You can, if you look really closely, you can see that my condition damage is a little bit better than hers. I'm ticking at 112, she's ticking at 103, so I've got a little bit of edge on, on the fight. Then it looks like some reinforcements arrive for both teams, but then they scatter and then it's just me and the thief again. Here comes a partner. On my team it looks like a great sword ranger and we're gonna start putting some more pressure on her she runs out the window and that's good enough for me my job with this build is not to chase people around all the time it's to capture points that's my top priority so I get back on the point get it back under our control almost there and there Point is captured and we are sitting at 181 153 for the match it's pretty close right now I noticed that there's an engineer down here he's kind of low on health I tried to initiate some combat but he decided to run out he runs up to the clock tower and I don't normally do this I don't normally take the low ground to enter in the clock tower it's it's more dangerous rather than taking the, the high ground through the windows so I jump in and then I realize I'm a bit outnumbered but maybe there's some hope here. I get some reinforcements on my side and it looks like it's going to be an easier match. And now the rest of the team arrives but so does some reinforcements on my end so now it's one big ass team fight. Elementalist on my side here doing some lightning damage, doing some defensive skills. Here's a Necromancer, and I probably shouldn't bleed him, but I did anyway. And before things get a little bit too crazy, I tried to, to get out and then get back in, but it turns out worse for me in that situation. I'm still alive, though, trying to get into the point, but oh, then the thief comes up behind me out of nowhere. I use Smoke Bomb to avoid getting uh, finished off. He gets finished off instead, and with my heal, I vanish and make an escape out of the clock tower. I'm just waiting to get out of combat now and maybe regenerate some health and kind of reassess what the conquest point situation is right now. It looks like we've got the mansion. We could get the windmill if we wanted to, but since I'm looking at the mansion and I see that there's a little bit of fighting going on over here, I want to see if I can put some pressure over here on their team's side. And maybe we can get some extra points by capturing this. So we got an engineer and a ranger is on my side. And we're going to try and put him down as quickly as we can. I got nine stacks of bleeds ticking away at him. He's going down pretty fast right now. There we go. More stacks of bleeds up to 12 now. And it's not going to be long. And there he goes. He's on the ground now. And we are capturing this point. 
finished him off, but before long, before I can make my way to try and capture another point, I notice on my way out of this area that there is an enemy moving towards this area. They must be paying attention, and they see that we have taken control of this area. I managed to somehow get some bleeds off before this thief shadow steps or perhaps infiltrate arrowed out of the area initiates combat perhaps not even knowing that she was already bleeding and i decided to try and help out in this situation i don't really normally get into 2v1 situations but god damn it i just captured this point i want to keep it and then the engineer that we killed earlier he comes back for revenge and damn near kills me and this ranger so i'm trying to get out of combat trying to get some healing going both the thief and my ranger are down now and i get some help from my team's warrior now we are fighting to the death over this capture point and i'm not sure if this is really the best way to go about it but uh so far it's not too bad we're sitting at 335 358 blue team has a little bit of edge i get knocked down and Thankfully, the warrior finishes up the thief that knocked me down, and I get back up, and I'm still in this. Still not knocked out. Get some healing going, trying to reassess the situation, what's going on, and then some reinforcements on my team arrive as we are trying to finalize capturing the mansion here. I see that there's a lot of enemies over at the clock tower, we have recaptured the windmill, so things are looking pretty good for us right now, even though we're a few points behind. The thief and the engineer will just not give up this area, though. They are, they are stubborn. They are very determined to drive us out of this area, even though we are outnumbering them. They're doing a pretty good job of uh, crowd controlling us, I have to admit. But we still have the advantage, and we are still outplaying them in their territory. Some more reinforcements arrive, though, on their side. The thief knocks me down. I managed to smoke bomb my way out of the situation, and I thought I might be safe here. But the thief has pretty good eyes, notices me here, and I could smoke bomb again. But you know what? I've got a better idea. I'm going to let them capture this point. Let's let them capture this point and then move out of the area and then I can move back in once it's empty and capture the mansion. And so that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm back at my side and I'm going to start using Infiltrator Zero again to move me quicker across the map. And perhaps just in time, let's see. Yep, as you can see, all of the enemies have moved out of the mansion. They're content that the point is captured, but I am back in this. Infiltrator's arrow has got me back in position and perhaps just in time. It's 465 now to our 407. It's not looking good. The enemy has a capture point right, right now at the clock tower. Now they have the windmill, but it looks like it's all being contested. For the most part, nothing is certain yet. Even at 492 now to our 441. Things are getting pretty exciting. This is a very, very close match. It's hard to even commentate like how quickly these conquest areas are being challenged and recaptured by other teams. But now we have the windmill and we have the mansion. We have a good chance now. We're contending for the clock tower now and doing quite well. 493, they are locked out of points. Our points are growing at 470. We have the windmill. Soon we will have the clock tower. What's going to happen? It doesn't get much closer than this. 494, they recapture the mansion. We're at 490. They have 496, 497, 498, 499. Boom! Red team wins. Our team wins. We both tied in points at the end of the match. But the reason why we won is because we held more capture points than they did and i'm just laughing my ass off i'm going to celebrate my victory by bleeding this engineer all over the ground 
Hope you guys enjoy this video. We've got more builds coming up from the Thief and all eight professions in Guild Wars 2. Make sure that you subscribe. You don't want to miss a thing. Also, leave a comment. We have bi-weekly giveaways, prizes that we give out to our awesome subscribers. So make sure that you do that. My name's Kinetic, and I'll see you guys next time.